Yo, what's up guys, Buzzy Beth here today. Let's learn how to make a clickable weapon inventory. So what I mean by this is I have these two tools that I want to be able to click and then I'll be able to equip them. So you guys will see that I actually have the tools placed inside of server storage. And then I have these two parts of my blaster as well as the honey part for display. Now inside of these parts, I have two click detectors. So that's completely different from the tools that are inside of server storage. So take a note of that and <laughs> try not to get confused about that. So let's go ahead and get started. What we want to do first is head over to starter player scripts and we're going to go ahead and add a local script. We're going to go ahead and create a variable for both of our click detectors inside of our workspace and inside of the parts that we added. And we're going to go ahead and do a variable for our two remote events. So I forgot to tell you guys, go ahead and add two remote events inside of replicated storage. And then I'm going to rename it to give blaster and give honey. Rename it to whatever you would like. Just remember, we're going to reference that inside of our variable right over here. So as you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead and create a variable for my two remote events that I just added right now called blaster event as well as the honey event. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a mouse click function for both of my remote events. And essentially, anytime a player clicks on either the blaster or the honey, then the remote event is going to be fired into our server, which leads us to our next step is adding a script inside of server script service. We have two variables which references once again, the remote event give blaster and give honey, as well as the two tools that we placed inside of server storage because we want to clone it from there. We're going to create an on server event function, two functions, and we're going to have it so that when the remote event is fired onto the server, then our tool is going to be cloned. And once again, our tool is going to be cloned right into our player's backpack. And that's it. So what we want to go ahead and do is just hop inside of our game to test it out. Okay, so inside of our game, let's go ahead and click on the blaster and ta-da, it replicates right inside of my backpack and the same for the honey stick. So full scripts and models will be posted on our website, link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. As always, have fun creating and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.